This problem says find the amount of the reactant in excess when 15.0 grams of magnesium reacts with 15.0 grams of oxygen gas. You should be able to write the equation. Okay, so if we are reacting magnesium, which is Mg, if we're reacting that with oxygen gas, oxygen is diatomic, so we need to write it as O2, and the reaction would form magnesium oxide since we um, we're starting with just elements the only thing they can really do is to combine so we'll write that as magnesium oxide and I know that that's MgO because magnesium has a 2 plus charge since it's in group 2 and oxygen has a 2 minus charge since it is in group 6a and doing the crisscross method we would get Mg 2O2, but because we have a common factor, we can divide out each one of those twos to make MgO. Also, keep in mind that oxygen gas is one of your diatomic molecules, um, so it would be, as an element, it always has a subscript of 2. From here, once we've written our equation, we need to balance our equation. We have one magnesium on the left and one on the right, so that one's good. But for oxygen, there's two on the left and one on the right. So we need to make the one on the right bigger by, make, by putting a two coefficient in front. So now we have two oxygens on both sides, but we made our magnesiums unbalanced. Since we put a two here, that means there's two magnesiums as well. So we need to put a two coefficient in front of our magnesium to make it balanced. And now our reaction is balanced. So from here, let's start with our, we're, let me back up a second. We are given a mass of both of our reactants. So we know this is a limiting reactant problem since we're trying to find the amount that's in excess. That means we're gonna have one of our reactants is left over at the end of the reaction. So if we start with our 15 grams of magnesium, we need to see how much product that is going to produce. Since we only have one product, we don't have any options. We're just going to find um, how much of our product, our magnesium oxide, is produced. So in order to do that, we need to first convert from grams to moles. So converting from grams to moles, we need to use the molar mass of magnesium. Looking up magnesium on the periodic table, I get its molar mass is 24.31. So the grams will go on bottom so it cancels. Moles goes on top so that we convert to the moles. And the molar mass always goes with the unit of grams because there's 24.01 grams in one mole of magnesium. From here, now that we have canceled out our unit of grams and we're in a unit of moles, we can now use our molar coefficients from our balanced reaction to convert to moles of magnesium oxide. So let's put moles of magnesium in the denominator because that's what we want to cancel out and moles of magnesium oxide in the numerator since that's what we want to convert to. So the coefficient in front of magnesium goes with the moles of magnesium. The coefficient in front of magnesium oxide goes in front of magnesium oxide. And that would give us, that would cancel out our unit of moles of magnesium. And now we're in a unit of moles of magnesium oxide. Next, the problem is asking for the amount of reactant in excess. And that usually means that what they're asking for is the grams of um, reactant in excess. Um, so actually we don't, since we're looking for the grams of reactant in excess, we don't actually need to know the grams of um, the product. We can just convert to moles and compare our moles at the end of the conversion. So grabbing my calculator, I'll take 15 divided by 24.01 times 2 divided by 2, and that gives me 0 
moles of magnesium oxide. So this is how much we can produce if all of the magnesium is reacted. But now we need to check and see how much of the oxygen can react. So if we start with the 15.0 grams of oxygen, we're going to do a really similar process and first multiply um, using the molar mass. We'll again put grams on bottom and moles on top. The molar mass of oxygen will take our 16 from the periodic table and multiply it by 2 to get 32 grams is one mole of oxygen. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, using our molar ratio, we need to put our moles of oxygen in the denominator so it cancels. And we want to again convert to moles of magnesium oxide. So our coefficient in front of our O2 is 1 and in front of the magnesium oxide is 2. So now we've converted to moles of magnesium oxide. Grab the calculator again, 15 divided by 32 times 2 gives me 0 0.9375 moles of magnesium oxide. So now comparing these two numbers, if I convert, or if all of my oxygen is consumed, I would produce 0 0.9375 moles of magnesium oxide. But if all of my magnesium is consumed, I would produce only 0 0.62474 moles of magnesium oxide. So once I produce the smaller number of magnesium oxide, then all of my magnesium is going to be used up, and so the reaction would stop. So we know that this is the amount that is the maximum amount that can be produced in this reaction. So to figure out how much reactant we have in excess, first of all, if our magnesium is the limiting reactant, that means that oxygen is in excess. So let's take the amount that we produce, our 0 0.62474 moles of magnesium oxide. That's how much is actually produced. So let's do a back calculation going in reverse to figure out how much of our oxygen is going to be consumed. So we're basically doing this, um, this process we use for the oxygen. We're basically going to be using it in reverse, but be using um, the limiting reactant number of moles. So we'll put the two moles of magnesium oxide in the denominator and one mole of oxygen on top. So that converts from moles of magnesium oxide to moles of oxygen. Then we use our molar mass, but flipped over again. So we'll put the 32 grams on top and the one mole on bottom. And using my calculator, the 0.62474 divided by two times 32 gives me that I used 9.99584 grams of oxygen. So in one final step, because it's not asking me how much I used, it's asking me how much um, is left over of the oxygen. Um, I start with the amount that I start with, the 15 grams of oxygen, and I subtract out how much I used, which is the 9.99584. And my calculator, I get that to be 5.00416 grams of oxygen would be left over. And to round this final answer to my sig figs, I have three sig figs in the problem, so I'll round to three sig figs, and that gives me 5.00 grams of oxygen will be what is left over after the reaction is complete. So, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like and share with anybody who you think might find these videos useful. Also, I have information in my description about ways that you can contact me if you would like private tutoring 
or if um, you have a question that you would like to see a video on, feel free to contact me. And I'll do my best to give you, um, to make a video or to do tutoring if that's what you need. Thanks for watching.